Hello. A pleasant afternoon to all. Okay. Uh, my topic for today is uh, using Mikrotik DHCP server for network management. My nickname is Bullet. I am from the Philippines. Okay, and my real name is Engineer Norberto F. Inlay III. I am a Microtech Academy trainer in the Philippines. Okay, I work as a network uh, operations uh, man manager in Shana College of Taytay. And before anything else, I would like to promote uh, for all who has not yet discovered about the Microtech Academy. So Microtech is offering this for educational institutions. Okay, so Shena College of Taytay in the Philippines is one of the Microtech Academy. So the Microtech Academy program is for educational institutions uh, like universities, technical school, colleges, vocational schools and other educational institutions. So the benefits for the students, so opportunity to acquire the basic knowledge in router OS, and the MTCNA certificate, and this is for free. Uh, your student will have the chance to take the MTCNA uh, for free, okay? And then education for, ben the benefit for the educational institutions is uh, the opportunity to attract more students by offering the Microtech certifications. So what Microtech offers uh, when you are an academy is uh, for the trainer to have the course outline, then the certification test, online certification test, and the equipment. They provide the equipment, okay? Then of al also the support and information. So the requirement uh, for the Microtech Academy is motivation and resources, space, and all the equipment needed for the labs, appropriate internet access, then they are requiring one Microtech Academy trainer, and then the approved training materials. So in the features, uh, these are our activities back in the Philippines. So the requirement for the academy trainer must be a lecturer at the institution, then have passed the MTCNA certificate at least 75%, and any engineering level at 75%. Okay. Evaluation will be conducted by appointed coordinators or microtic. So validation of the documents, verification of the academy trainer, and the uh, training materials, a uh, verification of the students. Uh, in the picture, uh, it is the awarding of the Microtech Academy status in our campus in the Philippines. So here are the Microtech Academy in the Philippines. So as you can see, uh, we have only f starting to grow uh, in the Philippines, but all over the world, especially in Indonesia, they have already uh, 350 plus, and it's growing. The Microtech Academy in Indonesia is uh, growing at 350 plus campuses. So here are my students. Uh, I already graduated uh, or conducted three batches of MTCNA uh, for our school, so they passed the exam, and now they have the MTCNA certificate. And they use it in the application when they apply uh, in the industry after they graduated. So because of Microtech, uh, our school has been funded by the Philippine government. Uh, amounting to a certain uh, large amount of money, around 3.4 million in peso. And this study is the curriculum enhancement through academic industry partnership with Microtech Academy for increased employability of graduates. It's under, it's still ongoing. Okay. So let me start. 
Okay? Okay, uh, the objective is for the network administrators to be able to understand DHCP, then to be able to secure the DHCP network, to give a practical uh, or idea on how to use the router OS DHCP in managing and monitoring devices in the network. Okay. So the reference, uh, wikimicrotech.com, forum, ayana.org. Okay, all photos uh, use uh, copyright of their respective owners. So what is DHCP? Okay. Um, I tried to find uh, pictures which uh, depicts a, or which ex somehow explain uh, the function of the DHCP. So in the feature, uh, it's more on the distribution of a certain options, specifically IP address, gateway, DNS, other option, net mask, to the devices. So DHCP is dynamic host control protocol. It is for easy distribution of IP in a network, IP assignment, uh, obtaining IP settings, uh, options. It is based on a client-server protocol. But there is a warning, okay? Must only be used in trusted networks. Okay, why? Why do we need uh, to use only in trusted network? Because, for example, I am the administ network administrator in the campus. We have guests uh, that goes in and out of the campus, okay? So they have devices that connect to the network. So through LAN, when they plug in the LAN cable, their devices will automatically obtain IP address. Though it means that the devices is already connected to the network. So we don't have, uh, if we don't implement it, uh, we can be um, hacked, okay? So why it is important? Uh, it lets you manage the network in a central place. So usually, um, who wants to manage, or specifically, who wants to configure a static IP address to 100 or 1,000 devices? Anyone wants to configure manually the static IP address? So no one. So DHCP uh, helps in the distribution of the IP address. So DHCP port, uh, port 67 for the server, and 68 for the client. Uh, sorry for the pictures. It's literally, literally a port, okay? So how does it work? So are you familiar with this cartoon? It's uh, Dora. Okay, Dora the Explorer. So why? Uh, I want you to remember the acronym for the DHCP uh, flow. Uh, DHCP discover, DHCP offer, DHCP request, and DHCP acknowledge. So in the discovery state, so I, I just had the example that the DHCP servers are the hotels, okay, around the area. And Dora is the devices, okay? Laptops, uh, cell phones. So we have this. Uh, Dora discovers the servers. Then after that, after discovering, the DHCP servers now offers to the devices the available uh, IP address, okay? And then, the client broadcasts request to a list an address from one of the offering DHCP server. And then, the DHCP server that the client responds to acknowledge the client, and the IP ad address becomes bounded. So like I said earlier, uh, we need to secure the DHCP network. In Microtech, we can do that, okay? So for wireless network, we need to set a strong Wi-Fi password, okay? Then 
we can do the connect and access list registration uh, in the wireless interface. And then for both wireless and wired, uh, we need to set the Microtech interface to ARP reply only. It means that all the registered leases um, in the DHCP should have an ARP in the, should be listed in the ARP address list. Okay? And then the other one to implement the security is creating a log login captive portal through Hotspot. So earlier, uh, the other presenters discussed the Hotspot. Okay. So how do we use the DHCP for network management? Okay, we, we have three um, menus uh, for the DHCP. Uh, the DHCP server, the DHCP network, the leases, and for this presentation, we focus on the DHCP list submenu. But I can show you that here is the features or functionalities that you can assign or modify. Uh, this is the screenshot of the DHCP server. You can edit the name, interface, add relay, list time, address pool, DHCP options, source address, delay threshold, authoritative, boot P support, always broadcast, insert queue, add ARP for leases, use reduce, and list script. It means that for the list script, for example, you can execute a command that you want uh, every time that you set an event for the DHCP. But really, I haven't uh, tested this uh, list script, okay? But it is possible to execute a command uh, with the DHCP. And for the networks, okay, here are the things that you can assign or modify. The address, gateway, netmask, options of no DNS, DNS servers, domains, Win servers, NTP servers, CAP managers. So earlier, someone discussed about the CAPs man. The next server, boot file name, DHCP options, and DHCP option sets. So for the DHCP options, uh, it is the parameter sent by the DHCP server to the client. Uh, it is a vendor extension. Parameters must be included in the parameter list attribute found in the IANA.org. So for example, you have these SIP phones or the VOIP phones, okay? So if the vendor of the VOIP phones requires a specific IP that you need to distribute among the devices or the SIP phones, uh, you need to in input it in the DHCP options. So uh, Microtech supports the DHCP options uh, for the vendors, okay? And then one, uh, another thing is the class classless static route options, okay? Uh, if you want the devices, or if you have deployed many Microtech routers, and you want uh, routing uh, for a certain router, you want to go to a certain router, you can input this in the option so the main router or the main DHCP server will distribute that routing to the devices. So how to use DHCP server list to man monitor and manage your network? So it will be the activities, okay? So we will be discussing um, but because we focus only on the DHCP list, uh, the options, dynamic to static, adding rate limit, address listing, extracting DHCP list information through scripting. Uh, in this one, uh, since we are a network admi administrator, we want a file that we can check, for example, uh, specifically an uh, Excel file where we can extract it from the Microtech router, okay, we extract and we can have a copy of the list. Okay, we can have the copy of the list of the devices. In, and we can specifically uh, include, uh, for example, MAC address, their own IP address, their client names, 
client devices. Okay. So DHCP server should be configured. Then there should be an IP pool. So IPv4 for the devices should be set to obtain an IP address automatically. So devices with manual configured IP cannot be probed in the DHCP list. So if a device is manually configured statically, we cannot probe it in the Microtech DHCP. So to set up a DHCP network is very easy because we have a configuration wizard setup, okay? So the setup is very easy. Uh, from the IP address, then click the HTTP server. Then once the window uh, pop up, uh, you can use the DHCP setup. And then uh, we can select the server interface, then the address space, okay? That will be, we, we will be using then the DHCP network, the IP address of the router, then the address to give out or the DHCP pool. And we can also set up the uh, the next uh, in the setup wizard is the DNS DNS server and the list time. Then finally, you already have created a DHCP server. Okay. So an IP address pool is used to define IP address range, DHCP server, and point-to-point -point server to group IP address for further usage. So it's literally, my image is literally a full, okay, a pond, okay. Okay, so here is the uh, prerequisite for the devices. So you can set up it, uh, laptop, uh, computers, uh, servers. IPv4 for the device should be set to obtain IP address automatically. And for the Microtech devices, for your routers, there should be a DHCP client uh, enabled. So here is what it looks like when we already done the DHCP procedures. So all the devices connected in your network will be now listed in the leases. Okay, the DHCP server list submenu is used to monitor and manage server leases. Okay, you can see you can see the address. If they are dynamic, if there are there the, if you already converted it to static, so that is one microtech features because we can do static IP addressing inside microtech. Okay, so whenever your devices restarts. Microtech will, the DHCP server will still assign the IP address uh, assigned to the device. And then we can also block IP address. The MAC address, the client ID, the server, the active address, the active name, okay, and the status. Okay. Where can you find the leases? IP, DHCP server, then leases, okay. Then click on the one list to be able to open the status. So that is this uh, information about the HCP list with IP number 192.168.100.200. Okay. okay, a while ago I said that uh, we can convert the dynamic status into static. Okay, so how to make it static? Double click on any dynamically assigned IP to view the DHCP list options. And then uh, click make static, then close the DHCP list window and reopen it again. After reopening, when you click on the general tab, you have the options to change the IP address assigned to the device. Okay, so the 192.168.100.200, you can eventually assign another IP address or you can retain. It's up to you. But if you want to retain, 
Okay? You need to check the used source of MAC address to bind the MAC address of the device to the IP address. Okay? And then you can select the DHCP server, then the list time, then if you want to block the access of the 200, the 200 IP address, you can do that. Okay? And then uh, we can also have the rate limit within the DHCP list, okay? So for example, um, I have a stuff, okay? I want that uh, stop, stops uh, laptop to only have this bandwidth, okay? So by doing that, so I, I know the I know the MAC address, I know the IP address of my stuff. So it is listed in the DHCP list. So I can easily limit his bandwidth, okay? 512 kilobytes to one megabits. Upload, 512, download. One meg. Okay. When you do that, okay, it will automatically be listed in the simple queues. Okay. So when we add the rate limit, it will be dynamically created in the simple queue. Okay. So another uh, thing that you can do within the DHCP uh, leases is we can automatically assign an address list, okay, to the, uh, for example, I want that address or I want the device to be part of the address list computer lab, okay? So once uh, you do that, uh, in the firewall address list, um, it will be listed, dy dynamically listed in the address list. Okay, by doing this, uh, we can play now with the firewall. Okay, we can now uh, have a scheduled internet for all the groups of, of the computer lab. For example, we want only the computer lab to have uh, every, they have a scheduled class every 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. So from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., we can create uh, firewall rules uh, to schedule all the uh, part of the computer lab in the address list uh, to have only internet during that time. Okay, And we can also play with the uh, layer 7 protocol because of the address list. Okay, So all sites, uh, you can block. Okay, you can create an accept or drop filter rule, chain forward, uh, for example, allow FB, then accept. Okay, so we go next to another uh, thing that you can do uh, with the DHCP. We want, this is the one that I am telling you earlier that we can extract we can extract the list um, yeah, this one we can extract all of this into a file okay so you can have a printout or you can have a soft copy and you can easily know the MAC address of the devices in your network Okay, so this is a script. Uh, I would like to thank uh, Scott uh, for this post contribution at Microtech for Forum. Okay, uh, this is the script that you need to do in the terminal. Uh, IPDHCP server list for each. This is a code. Okay, this is the script. So I am not a programmer, so I'm looking for uh, information online uh, regarding the things that we can do with Microtech through scripting, okay? So this one will extract the IP address, get IP address, get MAC address, 
the client ID, and the server okay, into a file. So if you want to know, because here, if you want to know uh, any other information that you can extract, you can do this. Okay, IPDHCP server list for each uh, find do, then it will display all the uh, information that you can ex extract in the DHCP. Okay. So as you can see, here is the code. Okay. So here is the code that I executed in the uh, terminal. Okay. Uh, this is one example. Uh, because in a network, uh, sometimes we block uh, devices. Uh, we, we block the IP address of a certain devices because it abuses uh, networks resources. So if you want to find the list of all blocks, devices connected that has been connected to your network, uh, you can execute this code. Okay. So after executing the code, um, you can highlight the extracted information and copy paste it in a text file in your desktop. Okay? So you highlight, then you uh, paste it in a text file. Okay? Here is what it looks like. Then after that, change the extension name of the text file to CSV file. Then open the CSV file. You successfully extracted the list in your desktop. So it is much more uh, readable by doing this. Okay, Th That is an Excel file. Okay, uh, that's end my presentation. But uh, I would like to thank uh, MUM Vietnam, a very nice people, nice country. Then to God Almighty, my family, for supporting me with all my activities. Then to the inspiration of industry partners, Microtech, Shena College of Taitai, our government, K-12, Microtech Philippines, uh, Ingenu IT Solutions, Inquirinity, uh, Taitai Rizal ICT Council, Talmark Cable, Infoban Aren, WISPOT. And then I would like to thank uh, for the support of my classmate in the train the trainer uh, Thailand held in last year 2018 to my classmates uh, to the bigger and smaller group to my uncle this is my uncle okay uncle John of Indonesia okay so if you have questions uh, I'm willing to help you through email you may email me at Norberto that in the third that that edu that so let's let's be friends okay so thank you very much, and glad bless us all. Okay, thank you for your presentation. We